Zombies, guess what? Today's video is super, super, super special because it is in collaboration with the Gates Foundation. Hopefully most of you already know about the first video where I got to work with Bill and Melinda Gates, but if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you check it out. It will be linked in the description down below. Anyone who really knows me will tell you that even though I'm a giant goofball and even though I run a makeup channel, that I am quite serious and quite passionate about a lot of issues that impact us, which is why any chance that I get to use this platform for something really good, for something beyond me and makeup, I absolutely want to take it. So naturally, I'm really, really excited to be able to talk to you guys today about what the Gates Foundation is doing, and in turn, I would like to thank them for continuing to support this channel too. It is opportunities like these that, one, I never thought I'd ever get or be able to do in my lifetime, but that I am so grateful for, and I just hope that you guys Guys are as pumped about this as I am because this is so cool. Uh, anyway, without further ado, let me tell you guys a little bit about what the Gates Foundation is up to and then we will get right into the makeup. Alright, I gotta get serious for a second. The world has been on an incredible path of progress. In our lifetimes we witnessed the biggest decrease in poverty, disease, and child deaths. But progress is not inevitable. The current global political upheaval threatens development budgets and puts all of that great progress at risk. That's why the Gates Foundation is creating the Goalkeepers Report, which they hope will inspire a new generation of leaders. These goalkeepers raise awareness of progress, hold their leaders accountable, and drive action to accelerate programs. So I really feel like this message is very pertinent to a lot of people that watch my videos. I know that a lot of you are very passionate yourselves about things that affect others and the world, and I know that you understand the value of your voices. Bill and Melinda Gates wanted me to choose one out of the 17 goals for sustainable development that they're focusing on, and I chose goal number four, quality education. You see where I'm going with this? So appropriately, I will be showing you this very simple back to school makeup look in 10 easy steps. Even though probably everyone's already back to school already. But there's a lot of school days left, am I right? Okay, let's get educated. Going back into serious Mikey mode. Here we go. So I picked quality education to talk about because even though there's so many other really important goals on the list, like reduced poverty, climate action, reduced inequality, clean energy, clean water and sanitation, to me, every single one of those other goals will rely on a foundation of solid education first. We are hard pressed to solve the biggest perils of the current and future generations without knowledgeable minds. Our brains are truly our best tool as a species and they can either lead us to our demise or help us flourish. So ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promoting lifelong learning opportunities for everyone is crucial to our success and is the focus of this goal. And this quality of education isn't currently being met. Globally, 91% of children are enrolled in primary education, but there's still 57 million children in the world who remain out of school. And some groups have a more difficult time with access to education than others, namely affected by geography, social climate, and gender. More than half of children that have not enrolled in school live in Sub-Saharan Africa. It's estimated 50% of out-of-school children of primary school age live in conflict-affected areas. And 103 million youth worldwide lack basic literacy skills, and more than 60% of them are women. Some goals to alleviate these disparities in education are to ensure that all girls and boys complete free, equitable, and quality primary and secondary education leading to relevant and goal for effective learning outcomes, ensure equal access for all women and men to affordable and quality technical, vocational, and tertiary education, including university, and substantially increase the supply of qualified teachers, including through international cooperation for teacher training in developing countries, especially least developed countries and small island developing states. But one of the big hurdles in being able to measurably achieve these goals is that education is an area where the world doesn't have enough data to understand progress. It's relatively easy to count the number of children in school, but that doesn't tell us how much those children are actually learning. Many countries don't generate any useful learning data at all, let alone in a comparable way. We need to know early on whether children are able to read, as that is a prerequisite to all learning. And we need to know at least a minimum proficiency level is being reached at the levels of grades 2 to 3, at the end of primary schooling, and at the end of lower secondary schooling. If we can proportionately and equally improve education on a global level, we would inevitably see improvement in so many other areas. And there's plenty of ways you can help with this, such as asking our governments to place education as a priority and make firm commitments to provide free primary education to all, including vulnerable and marginalized groups. Find out more about the Quality Education Goal, many others, and what you can do to help by visiting the link in the description. Okay, pencil brush is down. The makeup is done. I hope you enjoyed this back to school look. Now let's work on making sure every child has a school to get back to. 